Hi Sagittarius, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tower reading. Sorry, I was checking the floor because my cards tend to jump around. They jump around. Hey, all right, let's see what we have for you, Sag. What you got? Ooh, Queen of Cups. Ooh, in they feelings. Sag is like, oh, mm-hmm. Queen of Cups and her baby, the Page of Cups. Okay, King uh, Emperor. I'm hearing somebody's trying to hide how they feel about you, but it's so freaking obvious. Right? Cup, cup, cup. Uh, I also hear and feel like somebody is waiting for you to reveal how you feel before they open up and reveal how they feel and what their intentions are as well. This to me feels like a, a charade of cat and mouse, right? Um, you could be dealing with Cancer Sun, Aries Moon, or I really feel like it's an Aries Sun, Cancer Moon. Ooh. Mm hmm whomever this Aries is they're holding on they're not they're they're not uh, revealing to you how they feel but they do want this they do see you as their person or you see them as your person um, Queen of Cups and uh, the Hierophant I feel like somebody just fell in love and they've made the determination that they want you or you want them but I also kind of feel like they're trying to figure out what you want as well. Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to kind of quote unquote feel their way around this situation. They're looking for some sort of clarity that you want to be with them as well. I feel like whether it's you or your person, you guys are so freaking comfortable with each other and just so... Um, used to being around each other you get a well you get uh to get along very well together um i feel like this person is there when you need them like to talk to them or them to talk to you talk to you off ledge ledges it feels like this person is bringing a lot to the table but with the emperor here and the four of uh pentacles you know, the emperor for me is very powerful and authoritative, authoritative, but he's not the greatest communicator on the planet, right? And the emperor with the four of pentacles just basically says, yes, I've not opened up. Very rigid, very controlling, very, you know, stoic. And, oh, but the good news is he is, he or she is about to open up, by the way. Because with the Eight of Pentacles and also the Six of Wands, um, they've been studying or learning or working or growing. Um, they've been hanging in there. So to an extent, it's almost like this person may not be the most communicative person of their emotions, but they show up, right? They do stuff for you. They show you in other ways, in other areas, how they feel about you. And also at the same time, I do kind of feel like you guys are about to make this official. Yay. This person has taken their time to get to know you, know how you are, or vice versa, right? Um, not only that, but I also kind of feel this emperor is very steadfast. Like, they're very tenacious. They don't, they don't shy away, and they don't run, or they don't, um, they don't, um, they show up is what I really want to say. They may not say anything, but they show up. Um, I feel like you guys are about to ex exchange emotions, emotional intent, and you guys are about to, your wish is about to be granted for commitment or, you know, engagement, marriage, whatever it is. This kind of feels like somebody uh, wants to make this thing official. And I'm, I really should be saying somebody is about to make this thing official. Yeah, I feel like you guys already know that you belong to each other. You belong together. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by 
your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That with the Hierophant basically kind of says that this person has followed the dating process, you know, of what is it? Courting, dating, commitment, engagement, marriage. That is the dating and courting process. So I feel like, especially with the emperor here, you could have a, a yourself and your kid. Um, this emperor is about to kind of quote unquote, make it official and bring all of y'all together maybe under one roof six of wands reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life oh maybe you guys are not on speaking terms and here's a message i love you i miss you right you didn't expect to see this message you know the person came in and apologized and, you know, I should have opened up to you. I should have done this better. I should have done that. Let go of control issues. Wow. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. The emperor with being controlling and, um, uh, what is I said? What rigid and yeah. I also kind of feel like with this emperor could be the emperor could be the cancer with Taurus here, cancer, sun, Taurus, moon. Airy sun cancer moon right i feel like um yeah somebody is coming in to confess that yo life without you just all the way sucks and i don't want to i don't want to live in that life anymore so yeah would you be with me getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost uh selves to each other here bond deepens that's not english to me but anyway yeah i feel like you guys it feels like you guys are coming back together it feels like yeah there's a conversation there's an apology um eh, is it out of the blue with her being blind yeah i don't think you see this coming sag and i feel like again a wish is granted it kind of feels like to me like you held out and you're about to that you're about to get paid off show the world the real you full moon in aquarius confidence confidence is the key to success nothing is yet set in stone so yeah somebody has to reveal how they feel um you know be confident about it and you know just nothing is yet set in stone just kind of feels like i guess you guys could still currently be in separation and this conversation is about to take place and reconciliation is about to take place as well. The answers you need are coming. You saw me shuffle those cards and, and move them things around for that one to show up. So Sagittarius, they're coming in to offer you and give you everything that they want. Not only that, but the page of cups and the nine of pentacles kind of feels like somebody's not going to be too, uh, not going to be single for too much longer. This person couldn't let you go, even though y'all might not have been on speaking terms or in contact with each other. I feel like you were always on this person's mind. Yeah, they were working and they never lost hope or they never could get you out of their system. And I know you said you didn't want me to contact you anymore, but I can't not contact you. Right. I'm also hearing that. Yeah, this kind of feels old Hollywood, you know, that the movie ending and and look, you got the star card here with the two of cups. So it kind of feels like some sort of storybook, you know, ending or surprise. You got two twos here as well. And again, for you, Sagittarius, I don't think you see this coming. I mean, now that you watch my video, yeah, you have an idea. But yeah, I kind of feel like somebody's coming in with direct communication with you. It's going to be out of the blue. They're going to ask for you and your son's hand or you and your daughter's hand in marriage. And I feel like also at the same time, they're going to want to do whatever it takes to make, make this work. All right, my lovely Sag, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Oh, Angel say, who do we have? We have Aquarius. We have Aries. We got Pisces. We have Cancer and we got Taurus. All right, my lovely Sagittarius. Uh, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and comment if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading if you go to the about section of my channel you can click on book an appointment i love you sag bye